We have another meeting? No, not meeting. meeting. It's just, just like the we're supposed to talk um, about like the QA, test their life, test their jobs, what needs to be done as a soft skill side and also like a technical side. I'm going to answer every single question you guys have, how to do things I will explain to you and how, how thing goes in the real job. Now, okay. Remember, I, got, I, I yeah. told you, I will give you the bigger picture since one month left, bigger picture, what we're supposed to do and how we're going to get a job. Today, you are going to learn this. And it's recording. Uh, I, I will. Yeah, you yeah. can record right now. I will show you today, if you guys ready, um, how to go to market after my talk is finished, after my everything I show, you will be ready to understand the bigger picture, what we're supposed to do, how we're supposed to finish, handle everything. So skill side, technical side. Okay, Niga? Okay, okay. All right. And I'm going to start with these things. I'm going to present, guys. Okay. That's all we need. Um, <clears throat> okay. Do you guys can see my screen presentation? Yes, I can. Yes. yes. Okay. If you can take a note to remember on your own, you're free to do it. And I will recommend if you don't want to, that's no worries. This is recording of time. We'll share with you later. Okay. Uh, so we've been assigned a project by Halit last weekend, he said, finish this project. Do you guys remember Coach Mustafa, how he teach? So this is basically this is the time he gave us because he wanted to ask like a real job. Since we learn everything, it's at the end of the course, literally one month left, right? We can use every technical skills he taught and every technical skills Coach Mustafa taught that we can combine and make it a real job then we can hunt it a job, correct? Correct. Yes. Okay. Now, as, as you see, the bigger picture is coming to understand. Now, I will break down how thing works, all right? It will make, make sense in your head. Oh, okay, that's what it is. So first of all, we start grooming meeting, right? In a real job when you go, guys. There's going to be like an environment like this you're going to face. This is the real environment. We're not supposed to be like 12 people tester. There's no such things. Two tester, three tester, or maximum is like four. But the main two testers, the rest is manual testers like jobs. For example, like a, whoever finished the bachelor's degree and want to be tester manually, those are the rest three, like apprentice, let's say. But the two main tester. You're going to be one of them. This is Niger. This is Oktay, let's say. Okay. And um, this is BA. This is PO. Right. Um, this is team lead. Uh, developers, developers, developers. Dev team. So why dev team separate this? Actually, this is including two, but I just wanted to show you. Also, you count as a developers too, but dev team most likely uh created by uh developers since they are mm -hmm. developing the code that's the most important part before testing if there is no developers your job is not going to happen right for that reason there's going to be three developers most likely keep in mind this is your real job you're going to talk about what i tell you right now keep in mind this is your team don't say i have 12 people in my team just say po pa team lead as a like a one tester me right and then another tester and then the two you can say apprentice as a manual tester we are four tester if you want to say 
but you're just two tester and then the team lead with the developer has a team lead you know represent the team uh developer team and then the three developers one of them is back end probably one of them is like front end ui since like back end what is ui ui is like how do you see user interface how do you see the application but if you want to see the application inside what's going on api that's called api that's backend that's another developer and then the another developer it's like kind of a lead but do the same jobs things like that developer and tester kind of husband and wife what does that mean that means there's nothing different they are in the same under uh, same roof okay so they help each other they communicate each other okay there is no difference so <clears throat> they basically help each other they create they develop they test they test they develop things like goes like that po and ba what they do basically they create the user stories right and they give you they as uh, they assign you right they say this is the business you're working what's the business campus application business requirement documents <clears throat> right or the bank application let's say the capital one capital one process how thing goes this is the business requirement wherever business you want to work but your business right now in your current job educational business okay education domain for that reason this is the po mba create this rtms fsd and the test scenarios for you to test because that's what their job that's what they get paid for and then let's move on sprint planning right we've done grooming meeting grooming meeting basically what we do give points we did it already you can watch videos it's in the product backlog right and then uh, sprint planning meeting so you basically sprint to move the stories from product backlog to sprint backlog then you can start a job and what you do you create team capacity you know you create the user story points that you can finish in whatever your sprint meaning your sprint is your job right now two weeks 10 days correct um this is the scrum team all right this is the scrum team there's gonna be scrum master so scrum master will help to facilitate everything that uh you need okay uh another thing another thing um uh, about uh scrum team um uh, you're working in mercy's company right now and you need to say we have 20 team overseas over or 10 team whatever say that team means actually this scrum team exists like this people another scrum team another scrum team another scrum team let's say 10 whatever you want to say why this is a big company they have like europe they have um you know central united states central america like things like that they have teams but i'll give you a tip don't forget this it's very important this is a tricky part they might ask you you having a real job or not this scrum team guys working in this application right but another scrum team also work the same application correct another scrum team that means i have a question for you that means do they work in the same jira or each team members has separate scrum one scrum two they have separate jira separate separate same team all right ricardo win that's correct same team they all see the same there is like tens or thousands of like story is coming you're gonna be in question like this which team you're working on oh, i'm working in on Amer central american central america team so uh our job is basically our team is basically take care of the setup management look at this application 
how many features here you cannot you cannot test every single feature on your own and in only two testers three developers that's why you have five or ten teams that helps the application up and run every single day and they were it's real that's real they do have it i ask Coach Mustafa. Can okay I, can i ask so something for, to, i'm sorry for that reason one second of that for that reason this story is coming going coming going in the same place every scrum teams come and see this place one single place because the application is same same uh, uh, company is the same, product is the same, but they need team. They need team. It's not going to happen with one team. They create another team. They need it. If they don't need, they just going to have the one team. I'm just giving you idea, okay, how thing works in real job life. That's what your team, but you should be ready if you're asked. You guys have one team, two team, three team, or we have five team, or we have one team. That's it. Or we have 15 team overseas and, you know, America and these Europe. So I'm in the one team, team uh, one, uh, scrum team, and this is my job. Okay. I'm moving on. Okay, go ahead. Um, so uh, I want to ask this question. So I don't know. It might be a stupid question, but you know how you said each team, they have a manual testers and automation, you know, automation uh -huh. testers. So do the, does the automation people, uh, I'm sorry, manual people does our job for ourselves to save some time or exactly. do we exactly. also do the, oh, so they do that manual part, right? So we don't touch the manual part. You do too, but they do the most likely manual parts that needs to be manually done. Exactly, you're right. Okay, I see. Like, think about Halit. Halit said, you know, manual tester does, and I just wait for automation. He said that, remember, I asked him, mm -hmm. he said, I'm, I'm doing the automation test, and what needs to be automated? When they come to me, they say, this needs to be automated. My job is the automation. And I do the automation, I send the code, that's it. So Other I'm, people do that. I'm you guessing I mean? Halit, Halit doesn't just go there, okay, you know, they did the manual part, but I don't, I don't trust them, let me do it myself too. Or... No, 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 not like that. Not like that. You are an automation tester, mm -hmm. right? If they say the story needs to be automated. Mm -hmm. Okay, Mr. Oktai, this is your story assigned to you. I need you to test and automate this code. Mm -hmm. No, uh, Miss Nigar, this, this story is assigned to you, but I just want you to manually test. And I want you to decide with the team and this should be automated or just keep it manual that what you're going to decide we're going to deep dive okay. into okay. later that okay thank okay? you yep mm -hmm. now after make sure how many user stays you will work in this sprint go to work 9 a.m that's your job and check your email get smoke test result from jenkins right and then um uh, Attend stand up meeting. Start to work on those user stories. This will all on every single day while you're working a story, while you're working a feature. Why? Because, like I said before, you're not going to join a company like Sprint One. You're going to join a company maybe Sprint 130, 140. That means already, you know, up and run application. So you just need the features that you need to work and test right and then what you're gonna do you're gonna check your email every day you're gonna check that smoke tests are passed right login functionality and things and um and then you're gonna join the j daily stand up after one month you're hired and then like um start your working stories keep improving keep developing these features you've been assigned that's what your job is going to be. Do you guys see my screen, by the way? Yeah, <clears throat> I have a question. Yes. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, I'll be, I'll be a little stupid here, just, just to get a clear understanding. When mm -hmm. you're doing automation, it's uh, writing up the codes, correct? 
Correct. But when you're doing manual, mm -hmm. there's a code involved, correct? You know what, Ali? That's a good question. Not actually that. It's actually exactly the same what you're doing automation. You mm -hmm. see the automation code here? It's mm -hmm. basically make your life easy. Think about mm -hmm. you don't have a car automatically goes everywhere you want, but you just walk every place. Yes, you can if you want to. But why? Why? Like, why not driving a car? Why not an automation? Why would you do like every single time set up, click this, that? And but some features, some application decided by the team, by the dev team should be tested every single day manually. Yes, there is a manual tester only hired for this. That's how they get paid much. That's how they live for that. And they have no coding, you know, skills or anything. They just manually test, click, do this screenshot. Exactly what you see here, exactly like automation codes and everything, what you do, they do the manual part. They go screenshot and put in the document and then they could save it. They do this, they do that and then they communicate with the lead. This is manual, you click on it, you add lead. Exactly, add exactly. But there's no coding involved in this. No. Yeah, just making sure. Yeah, this is happened, you're right. That's not a stupid, that's a good question. People hire is it just manual tester? Yes. Okay, let's move on. Um, require, okay, this is the STLC, just keep in mind, we're gonna talk about this later, but. That's what is your job most likely look like when it's come to SDLC. Okay. Uh, software testing life cycle. So you have requirements, meaning user stories, test plan, test cases, you create environment setup, test execution, test cycle closure. So basically when you assign a user story, the first step, right? That's what happened last weekend. And then you're going to have a test plan. Yes, we, we have a test plan, actually. I'm going to talk about that today. You're supposed to talk about this last week when we assigned, but that just happened right away. I haven't created anything, but I created it's a test lead. I should be able to create. That's what is in the real job. And I will show you, okay, today. And then the test case creation, which is on you as a tester, Test plan on me as a lead, uh, but you should be able to also understand and create test plan too, by the way. Um, you know, you'll be maybe asked or not, uh, or for, let's go to for what, what it says, environment setup, setup environment done by developer team, you know, developers, which is like a QA environment that you're ready to test after you created test cases, right? But we were talking. Test execution. Okta and me we executed the test and the test life cycle closure. It's done. DOD, it's done. Your job is done. This is your job basically, look like daily or sprint, let's say every sprint. If you and me, Oktai done here, we have five days remaining. Oktai, what are you gonna do five days? Go hiking, go swimming, go whatever you want. I can do the same thing. That's why the beauty of IT job is good. No one's gonna bother you, but if you guys need to help teammates, anything like you need to do, you should. Okay? Um, and then let's continue analyze user stories, right? You have to read carefully and understand what you've been assigned. And if there's anything you did not understand, ask PA, PA and PO. That's the things I mentioned, remember? It's not clear. You should be ready to talk. Don't hesitate. Okay? Uh, that's why uh, definitely speak up before sprint start. That's why we're doing grooming meeting. That's why we're doing sprint planning. Say this should be added more acceptance criteria from my perspective, my point of view. Just say it. That's his job to do. That's what they get paid for. If you don't do this, you have to do it. You got an extra work done. And if you think a user story should be added, not clear, you may work with, you see, this is what it says. 
um, writing a test plan based on the story, user story, analyze and functionality you're testing in the current sprint, write a test plan. If you want to know how to write test plan, I can help, but that's how you write a test plan. So the plan, basically, it's like a roadmap test plan. I'll show you how it looks like, but you can understand uh, what is test plan. Um, if you want to write, you should write. And also, normally, a team lead you know, do that. But the plan is very important because uh, it's including the old tester in the one team that you have to you have to understand what is the plan. What do we do guys? Like as a two tester or three tests or four tester, right? So now, um, write test cases. You already know before writing test cases, you need to write test scenarios, review the, with the team, test cases. You guys already done here, right? It shows already. So we already know the, how to write it. I'm passing this. How to write test scenario and understand user stories thing from the end user point remember that's the most important but what we are saying who is the end user of this application students admin think about like him that's why you should go and check what if you work in a bank application what if you work in a betting application you bet you know or you working, let's say, um, communication application, something like that, right? So you have to understand who is the end user, who's using this application, Mr. Pio. So understand the requirements, okay? And then now, in order to write test scenarios, open the application and observe the functionality. Remember, don't forget, there is gonna be an application. You're not gonna be higher like zero, looking nothing application there is going to be application okay you will join maybe sprint 20 sprint 5 or whatever it is okay and then try to some action verify that user can log in with login well uh this is the like um that what you can do explore right first login and see how it works so if you see this keep in mind you might be asked question in interview. Let's say if I hire you, what would you do first day? What would you do first day, right? That's what you need to say. I will look at the business requirement RTM documents to understand the business, what I'm gonna work. Since I'm interested in this business banking, I apply. So I'm kind of familiar, right? And I can also check the application, how it works, try to do explore three, uh, looking right and then we continue with this what is url of the website right which environment you're using as we learned before there are might be more than qa test environment who's gonna tell me the after uh, more than like other environments what are those other dev environments mm -hmm. test environments staging environment and product production or perfect good job good job right. <laughs> thank what you what do you guys think is right yes okay yes. perfect okay. good yes. job Um, I, I, I have a question. Um, do you think they would also ask you, you know, like once we start talking about our, you know, um, project, uh, you know, the, or, you know, the project that we're currently working on with the, you know, current job, you think they're going to ask, oh, and w what was the spring number when you joined to the company or something like that? Of course, they might ask. But you shouldn't give that that much idea look like you're not in the real job if you start talking confidence that i don't think they're gonna ask but if they ask you should be ready to answer you have to say i'm working a sprint right now if i'm not wrong like five or ten since i joined recently because of your resume mm -hmm. uh, or just say like this company has already been working a long time i know 127 and my uh you know, spring is this, and my thing is like this. 
uh, whatever you've been questioned, it's been two years, one years I'm working. It has to be matched. You're right. That's a question also. Mm -hmm. yeah, but in reference to that. What is uh, that? I have a question in reference to just that. Okay. <clears throat> um, uh, what you call it? Uh, let's pretend for a second we are saying about three years to five years between working for a company, Mercy. Mm -hmm. Wait, let's, cal let's calculate in real. Everybody can calculate. That's what we're going to say. Two, three years, right? How long is one project typically? One sprint is 10 days. No, no, not sprint. A project. I'm talking about one, zero to hundred. Mm -hmm. How long is it? You know, a company can be working on multiple projects at a time. If not, they could be working on one project and trying to finish it and then get go to the next project. Yeah, that's called sprint. That's what you're saying is a sprint, is a project. A sprint under, comes under one project. I'm talking about having more than one project. Mm. Uh, I'm not sure what you mean. Like, if you work for if you work for for a company that's for five years working on one project, uh -huh. does that mean they never finished in five years? Um. If they, especially when you're saying you're working in a South American company uh, okay. team, okay. and there's ten teams out there. Okay. I'm sure they're not working on one project. They must have more oh. than one project. Okay. Let's say the project for the campus application or the project for the, yeah. Yeah, they, they do. You're right, actually. Mercis, Mercis has a campus application as a project. They have yeah. also medical, I guess I checked them, uh, if I'm not wrong. They have also medical application project. You're right. Uh, they do that project too. It's a it's a company. They work. It's a company. They work. Uh, different type of project, but you're gonna talk about only this project. Correct. Don't, correct. Don't, I'm just wondering. Yeah. Don't don't make it like uh, harder for yourself to figure out. Just say for this project I'm working. It's the sprint is 130, and the calculate according the sprint dates 10 days, right? So you're just gonna calculate the um, sprint with the math. So whatever you say has to match. You know what I mean? And I'm currently here. That's all you need to say. There's a question like this, exactly you ask. The answer is like, this is the two week sprint we do. And then uh, this is the project I work. This is this, um, this is the uh, feature I work, nationality, fees, and I'm responsible for the setup module or entrance module. And we are testing this. Okay? Mm. Things like that. All right, let's give five minutes break, okay? Five minutes break. Okay. Okay.